Hey, what's good? What's up? What's poppin'? I don't want my voice on today, but um So basically hi guys, um welcome to my channel if you haven't been here already. Um hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Um, um, um today I'm here with a story time. But before I get into the story time, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been, you know, liking my videos, subscribing, sharing to your friends. I see y'all reposting on your Snapchat. Yes, the love is real. So I'm gonna say a huge thank you to you guys. If it wasn't for you, like, I would not be still I was still I still wouldn't be making videos, so thanks guys. Uh, so story time today, you read in the caption. This guy was really a psychopath, guys. Like, a real psychopath. By the way, are you feeling this hair? Like, it's, it's so different. I never thought I'd do red wigs, but... Here I am. Yeah. Anyway, back to the story. Um, okay, what should I call this guy? I'm going to call this guy uh, Bob. So, Bob, yeah. So, about... So in 2016, I met Bob. How I met Bob, um, so I finished college, yeah, and I was going home, and I was walking down my road to obviously go home, and he was there, like, he was walking towards me, so I see him from afar, and I'm just like, whoa, this nigga is tall, because he's like six foot five or whatever, so he's really tall, and so he stopped me, and he was like, I can't remember what he asked me, he must have asked me like, oh, are you from this area, and I was like, yeah, I live around here, but I didn't, I didn't tell him that I live on that road, I just said I live around here, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, yeah, so I said I live around here, and he was like, oh, okay, cool, I live around here too, I didn't move not, I moved not too long ago, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool, what's, like, where do you live, then he was like, oh, just a few roads away, I was like, oh, okay, that's nice, then obviously we just started making conversation, he was like, um, because I had a folder, I was holding my folder, because I was, I came from college, and he was like, oh, you come from college, and I, he was like, um, no, he was like, what did he say? I can't remember, but somehow I was like, oh, I just come from college. And he was like, oh, Ra, how old are you? And I was like, I think I was 17 at the time. Or was I 16? I was either 16 or 17. So I was like, yeah, whatever, that age. And he was like, oh, okay, cool. What do you study? And I was like, oh, accounting. He was like, Ra, really, same? I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And he was like, but it's not actual accounting, like A-levels accounting, I do AAT. I was like, oh, right, really? That's what I study as well. What level are you on? He was like, um, level three. And I was, so I was on my level two. So I was like, oh, okay. So I'm on level two. And he was like, oh, we should meet up and do, like, study dates and that. And I thought, okay, cool. Like, he's done his level two, so he could help me, you know, pass and stuff. So everything was good, you know? Like, everyone was calm. Fast forward now. He took my number and we'll meet up, like, so I have a park like on the top of my road I have a park and the park's like in the middle of like all these other roads so we met up at the park because it was it was summer so yeah I was I was 16 at the time it was not summer but it was really warm at the time so we meet up at the park we'll do revision there blah blah blah, blah. I'll go home I no wait you guys the first day that I met him this guy, he was like, oh, let me walk you home. I'm like, nah, it's cool. And then, it was actually, then the way I was walking, he's like, oh, actually, I've got me and my friend down this road. So like, okay, cool. So, he did that to find out exactly where I live. Because he's never, ever been miles. So, he did that to find out where I live. Must be part of his game plan, I don't know. So, we've walked down now. And then, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is my, like, I'm calling like this is my house now. He was like, oh, okay, cool, bye. Bear shark in the door. But at the time, I didn't think anything of it. He's bear shark in my door number. Trying to like keep it in his brain, you know, keep it in his brain. And then, yeah, fast forward now, we're meeting up, doing study days, bloody, bloody, blood, this, this, and that. One day, just one sunny, beautiful day, this guy tries to make a move, and I was like, hold on, what are you doing? He was like, be like i'm feeling you this and that i've liked you for time this was just like maybe like two weeks into the first day we met and i'm like what 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 you like who me 
we're just friends like we meet up to study then we go home that's it like i don't know like i don't know where you became to just start catching feelings like where, where did i even come from but yeah so he's telling me all this and i'm like um i don't feel the same way i'm not gonna lie like i'm a blunt person i'll just tell you how i feel i'm like i don't feel the same way um i just see you as my mate like at this point we got really close so he, he was telling me about his dad and all his family problems blah blah blah, blah. so he must have like thought we were connecting or whatever but it wasn't that deep so he's like so he's not telling me that he likes me let me sit back actually that he likes me um i'm i'm telling him yeah i don't feel the same way and then he's like why what do you mean why is it by force like is it by force to feel the same way that you feel i'm just like i like you as a person like we're friends we're cool like we've we've bonded you know but that's because like i'm trying to get these grades you know what i'm saying <laughs> and he was like so he was really hurt he was really hurt but he was like it's cool it's whatever he just left it and he was like oh i guess not everyone will feel the same way that you do you know then words that you used to make you feel guilty i was like yeah and i was like anyway i've got to go home now then i was thinking okay it's probably not best for me to meet up with this guy anymore because he's caught feelings and he's expressing his feelings so i think i should just cut him off yeah um but he called me that same night he was like i don't want that to you know stop like us meeting up to revise and be friends because i actually enjoy being around you and i was like okay cool because i enjoy being around him as well like he's a cool guy so we carried on meeting up to revise and stuff then one day he was like oh you should just come to my house and revise there because like why well, we're just coming to the park i was like um i'm not sure about that and he was like yeah you should come and meet my mom what's your mom got to do with my grades I was like, oh, your mom? He was like, yeah. I was like, um, why? He was like, just calm. Like, you're my friend, and I just want to show her, like, my new friend. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll come tomorrow after college. So I finished college, and he, no, you know what's weird? He didn't, he didn't, because he lived two roads away from me so he didn't tell me the road that he lived on and what door because obviously i would know it's like around the house around the corner from my house but he was like when you get off the bus we usually get off to get to your house wait there for me i'm like okay cool so when i got there i called him i'm like yeah i'm here where are you then he was like walk down okay so i'm walking walking i'm like where are you then he's like just keep walking down until you get to the next shop so i got to the shop and he was there then you had to walk back up to his house that made no sense whatever so I go into his house now, and I met his mom, she's nice, cool, and he introduced her, wait, hold on, he told her that I'm his girlfriend, so I'm just there like, huh, obviously I can't be stink, like I can't be rude and be like, okay, yo, like, I'm not with your son, you know, we're just friends, but I was just like, you always just smile and you just feel awkward as hell like i i felt so awkward cool we're going yeah cool we move away from that now and we're by ourselves and i'm like why did you tell your mom that i'm your girlfriend and he was like because you are when when since, since when i like huh since when he was like, nah, stop moving, stop moving long. You know how boys told like, stop moving long. Stop trying to act like you're hard to get, blah, blah, blah. I know you want me. Like, I was like, no, I don't. We, I really don't. But I'm here to study. That's what I'm here for. And if you don't want that, I'm cutting, I'm going home. Then he was like, you ain't going nowhere. I was like, hey, today, not today, oh, heck. So he walked, <laughs> so he walked to the door. Imagine, yeah, I'm, I was like five foot four at the time. And he's six foot five do you think i can push a six foot five guy out of the way out from the door yeah i'm there like can you move this i've got to go home gotta go home and he's i think he's got some he's got i think he's got mental problems i'm never gonna lie because he'll be he'll be mad 
for like a good five minutes and he'll just calm down out of the blue and be like you know what? i'm so sorry i'm so sorry like um he'll be doing all these movements and I, i'm just there like are you okay and he'll be like yeah i'm sorry like i'm really sorry forget it we're just friends like it's okay i just need you around me and i was getting this house so i was just like okay cool like let's just get this revision over and done with yeah so we'll start revising five minutes later he's trying to kiss me again i'm thinking what are you doing <laughs> and he's like, you what have i got myself into what have i got myself into so I, sat, I literally sat him down here. Yeah. I had both his hands and I talked to him. I, what should I call him? Bob. Yeah, Bob. Bob, me and you are friends. Like, we are close friends. We shouldn't ruin that friendship because of your feelings. Because I don't feel the same way. I'm really sorry. But if you want us to keep, like, meeting up, we're just going to have to be friends. Are you going to have to start being crazy? And then he was like boom let go of my hands here yeah. he was just like i don't care about that i want to be with you this isn't that oh my child what do i do now what do i do so i'm like okay you know what i'll think about it i was like that's the best thing to say i'll think about it and he was like we're well, gonna let me know i was like it's gonna take me a couple of weeks you know he's like nah you need something tomorrow <laughs> what <laughs> what are you mad Anyway, I was like, okay, cool, because I just wanted to get home. Okay, so I get home now, yeah, and he calls me and he's like, have you thought about it? What? You said, you said tomorrow at least. He was like, not gonna lie, I can't wait, this, this, and that. I'm thinking, yo, listen, we can cut our friendship off, you know, I can move on, like, it's not that deep. It's really not that deep, because if this is affecting you men mentally, like, it's just best for me not to see you. He was like, no. I need to see you. I can't live without you. I'm thinking, what the hell? You just met me two weeks ago. What are you? What are you talking about? What are you saying? What is this? What type of nonsense be this one now? Anyway, I'm like, um, okay, cool. Call me back in an hour. Within that hour, I blocked him. I blocked him. It's like, no, this guy is not going to call me again. But my stupid ass forget to forgot to block him on WhatsApp. So. He kept texting my phone like, so you're gonna block me now, yeah? Is that where you're on? Watch when I put pull up at your house. I'm like, pull up where? Pull up to my house. How do you know my house? And boom, I remember. He walked me home that day, that first day we met. So I'm thinking, like, he can't remember my door number. He wouldn't remember it, would he? And then he was just like, yeah. Then he's actually, in the text message, he said my door number. He said, I'm gonna pull up to this door, yeah? And you better come out. I'm thinking what kind of what kind of possessed guy is this like what is going on like what have I got myself into who is this guy is it time for me to call the police like what should I do I was I actually scared like what is this boy gonna do is it by force to be with him if I don't be with him then he might just kill me like he might kill me so and I, I actually ended up just blocking him on everything whatsapp everything so he didn't have any contact with me for a week now, because I used to see him at the exact time every single day, no, not at the exact same, not that, not at the exact same time. But he knew my college timetable now, because when I finish college, he'll be waiting for me at the bus stop and we walk to the park. So, it got to that point now where that following week, I get off the bus and he's there, he's there, he's literally there waiting for me, and I'm just like, I walked to the bus and I saw him, my eyes wide open, my mouth was like. But I, I walked past him as if I didn't know him. I walked right, right, right past him. And I carried on walking. And this guy is screaming my name outside. I'm screaming my name outside. I'm thinking, what are you doing? Can you just... Go away, please, now. Go away. Ah, what's this? I really did not know what to do. I kept walking. I kept walking, yeah. And then, like, when you get past the main road, you get into the side roads now to get into my house to my road and he pulls my arm because then like no one no one's there now we're by the park no one's there he pulls my arm and he was like what like what is up with you what's going on how can you block me everything is that how you're moving now blah 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 i'm like i've told you multiple times multiple 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 times leave me alone leave me alone i don't want to be with you we were friends everything was good 
Now you've caught feelings, but I don't want to be with you. So you can just forget the feelings and just, you know, be friends. Like, if you don't want that, we literally can't, we can't chill, we can't hang, we can't talk. Because I'm not, I'm not about to be in a relationship just because I'm scared of dying or something. <laughs> and he was like, what well, do you think man's going to kill you? I was like, well, would you? And he was like, I rather would. calling Jesu I don't even know who this person is and I'm calling them um where was I yeah so he's telling me now that he's crazy like he's crazy when he's in love and he's apparently now in love with me and he can't let me go I'm on his mind 24 7 and he said if I get a boyfriend yeah Oh wait, at this time I broke up with my ex so I was in like a headspace moment. He was like, if you get back with your ex or get a new boyfriend, I'm going to kill you. That's what he said to me. I am going to kill you. And why did I not tell the police this? Why? Why did I not tell anybody this? Why? Um, so I was like, how do you mean? Like, what do you mean? He was like, I'm going to kill you. Like, this boy was so serious. So this point i was just like you know what okay cool let's just get together worst mistake of my life he took my phone and blocked himself of everything said his number was bay walked me home made sure i actually got into my house and walked back and went back to his house and he called me and he's just talking and I'm just quiet. He's like, why are you not talking? For, what the hell? Do you not want to talk to me? And I'm like, I'm tired. I just want to sleep. You know what I mean? just, You just want to get away from this person. And he was like, that's all you want to do like every day. Just sleep, sleep, sleep. I had to cut the phone. Then he called back and he was like, you quit the phone on man now. Listen, my head was killing me. I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I put myself into. I don't know how to... I don't, I just didn't know how to get away from this guy. I just he knows where I live now. Like, there's no getting away. There's literally no getting away. So, yeah. Oh, God, this is stressing my head even. So, I'm now in a relationship with this guy, this psychopath. Yeah. The next day, he's at the bus stop again. He's waiting for me. He's walked me. You know, we've gone to his house now. I met his mom again. She's really lovely, by the way. His mom is really nice. I don't know why he's so messed up. And his brother's really nice as well. So I don't know why the hell he's so messed up. And yeah, we're chilling, chilling, chilling. And he's leaving to kiss me now. And I'm saying no. And he was like, What do you mean no? You're my girl. Why would you say no? And I'm like, I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for a kiss <laughs> at 16. So I was like, yeah, I'm not ready. And he was like, what do you mean you're not ready? Like, <sighs> guys, my head is hurting me. I was so scared for my life. I'm thinking, is this guy going to do something? Like, he's going to abuse me? Like, what's going What's going to happen? But the only good thing with him is that he's never, he's never abused me. Like, if I say no, he'll force it. He'll force it, he'll force it, he'll force it, he'll force it. But then he let go. He let it go. And he will just stay to the side and just let me be. So now, be, so now I'm like, okay, I'm going to go home now. That's when he'll jump up and be like, you're not going home, it's too early, this and that. So, <laughs> that was just like the worst experience of my whole life. Like, I wish I never met him at all. And I wish I never spoke to him. Just, yeah. That was completely crazy for me. So now you're probably wondering, how the hell did I get away from him? I told him that I cheated. And... He, bruh. I told him I cheated on him. I met some new guy. I really like this guy, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, there's nothing you could do. If you try to kill me, the police will come after you. And I told him where you live. Everybody knows where you live. So if you try it, you know what it is. You know what's up. Then this guy was crying. This boy was crying. 
imagine he went on his knees he was holding me he was like b how can you do this to me he he was crying guys like he was dead as bawling he was on his knees holding me crying like how can you do this to me how can you leave me from another guy he was like you know what i'll even forget what you did let's start fresh i'm gonna let you do what you want i won't keep calling you you can go out when you want yeah he used to tell me i can't leave my house as soon as i get from college yeah, he's waiting for me at the bus stop he walked me home to make sure i've got home and if i'm not at the bus stop at a certain time he'll be ringing off my phone ringing off my phone ringing off my phone he was mental guys he was a psychopath so when i told him that i cheated and done all that like i was like yeah i'm in love with this guy now like i need to we need to break up and um, he was so hurt he was really hurt that was the first time i seen him like in a different state to how he usually is but he had to just let it go like he just had to let it go and i wasn't actually with anyone at the time i just had to tell him that to get away from him and then yeah that's how i got rid of that psychopath completely insane completely completely insane person like bruh but yeah that's that's the story of my psychopathic ex who i don't count as my ex but yeah that's it and i saw him <laughs> i saw him a few weeks ago as well he still lives in the same house i saw him by the bus stop the same bus stop and he was with his new girlfriend i wanted to scream bitch run run as far as run as far away as possible from this guy but maybe he's changed now like maybe because they were all booed up and shit so maybe he's changed maybe you know he's karma or whatever so yeah i saw him it's the most awkward thing in my life like he's walking and he's still looking at me i'm thinking keep walking